Why hello there friends, mind the gap. It's time for another travel throwback vlog. Today we're taking the train to Windsor and Oxford. These videos are from a trip I took with my cousin Becky back in 2016. I've already shared some of our adventures in London, but in Windsor and Oxford, we had such an amazing time. We saw Windsor Castle, Queen Mary's Dollhouse, walked along the Long Walk, and then Oxford was just magical. This was my first time visiting. And it was just amazing to explore the different colleges, the streets that I've read about, in so many different books. We took a tour of Christ Church College and the Bodleian Library. Of course, we had to go to the Eagle and Child, which was Tolkien, Tolkien and C.S. Lewis's favorite pub. And we even got to stay at Kivo College, one of the colleges. I hope you guys enjoy. Secret of Mr. Salt, can you put Chris? The train bound approach platform two does not stop here. Stand back from the edge of platform two. The next train is not scheduled to stop. It's not scheduled. It's gonna fly by. It is, you're right. Becky is eating some chips. Some crisps. The train now approaching platform two does not stop here. Stand back from the edge of Stand platform back. two. The next train the is gap. not scheduled to stop. We're in slough, or possibly slough. We're not really sure. So, or sloth. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Two We're going to Windsor and Eaton Central, as you may have gathered. Like like Henry really. Is oh wait okay. or no? Yeah. Oh, no no wait. Who's what's the blue you know one that I'm thinking of? I can't think of his name. Gordon maybe. Gordon yeah. We've just arrived in Windsor. This is a cool looking train. It says the Queen. I don't know anything about it and I'm kind of. I have 10 million bags on me, so I can't stop reading about it, but Dad, I thought you'd like to see it, so there it is. My hotel room in Windsor looks out on the Garden of Palm and these rooftops. Becky was saying it's like an Alice in Wonderland room because, like, the way that none of the walls are quite straight. Yeah, there are very few 90 degree angles. They're all a little bit wonky. We have a big beam on the yeah. ceiling. Oh, you're right, it does. I didn't even notice that. I would call it an adequate stay, not really a great stay. The Wi-Fi stopped working and the sink breaks terribly. But the hallway is cute. We're going down to breakfast now. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, it just gets stuck. Steep stairs. This is called the crowning kitchen. Good morning. We hope you've had a restful sleep. Morning. Here's our breakfast. Oh yeah. What is this? I just got English. I just got the egg, tomato, and sausage with some toast. I had some cornflakes. Becky's like having more continental breakfast. Strange breakfast. Because I have black jam. They should have these lovely little jams and some Nutella. Yeah. And some tea. There is Windsor Castle. Best boat out on the Thames. With all the flowers on it. There are a million swans. We are shopping in Marks and Spencer this morning. I am in heaven. I love Marks and Spencer. Look at their watches. I think I'm gonna get this one. I love the rosebuds in blue and purple. Look at all the hats and scarves. Oh, Marks and Spencer, you're the best. This is so pretty too. I love all their bags. Shoes. Oh my gosh, these are so sweet. There's Victoria. And here's Windsor Castle. I think they've just opened the gate. We've just got our tickets and we're about to head into Windsor Castle. 
castle. St. George's Chapel. I wasn't the lady at breakfast. The lady at breakfast um, and her husband were also coming to Windsor Castle today and they were reading aloud from, I guess, a guide. So we got sort of a little mini um, guided tour of Windsor Castle before we even arrived. But she was sit talking about the Order of the Heart and how Prince William was recently made, I think, the thousandth member. And that those services take place here at St. George's Chapel. I'm not sure what buildings these are. They're so pretty though, aren't they? With the little gardens. It's a garden ready. We're out in the cloister now of St. George's Chapel. It was just gorgeous in there. Like standing out, just looking over at you, sort of stand up straighter, and you can imagine what it would feel like to be a knight of the garden and to have a velvet room. Around the cloisters they have all these newspaper clippings and photos from Queen Elizabeth's reign. It's her coronation. Changing of the guard here at Windsor Castle. So we just finished with St. George's Chapel, which was so beautiful. I just thought that was gorgeous. The, it was so intricate, the stonework. Like in, in places it just looked like lace. Yes, the bosses and the shields, the coats of arms. I heard one of these red uh, coated tour guides, or not tour guides, just I guess what we call them, wardens, oh, there you go. Um, was telling another guest uh, about um, the shields and the flags over the choir and over the um, choir stalls and apparently one of them belongs to Lord Sainsbury of Sainsbury's oh. I'm pretty sure and she was saying he designed his his flag oh, yeah. and like it has um, produce like <laughs> for the grocery and then also hearts because I guess he's a great patron of the arts but yeah I think these yes. belong to the night companions of the Order of the Garter. I think I call it Order of the Heart. I think that's because right across the street there's a hotel called the Heart and Garter. I think that's why I'm getting confused. But yes, now we're going to head up and see the Queen Mary's Dollhouse and the State Park. Green Moat is so beautiful. Like, I love the garden that they've got going on just going up the hill. The Round Tower is, I think, the keep of the castle and one of the oldest parts. And they said it's always been a dry moat. Wow, this is a beautiful view here. Is that Eaton over there? I think it might be. The grand looking building. We'll just look up what that is. I think it's Eaton. Lots of cannons here of all shapes and sizes. This says it's a Spanish or Portuguese dated 1652 cast at Macau captured from a Chinese war junk. Half of the stuff in these British museums and castles is actually just stuff they stole from other people. Whoops. There's another red guard. Huh? I was just saying there's another red guard over there. We just finished our tour of the State Department, so you can't do any photos or videos inside. But it was really cool. I love Queen Mary's dollhouse. It's so amazing. Like there's miniatures. It's like literally every little thing you can think of. The library is awesome because the books on the shelves actually have stories in them, like they're works of art. There's a miniature chess set. There's like a miniature Hoover in the maid's room. There are like little prams and garden tools in the garden. There's a wine cellar. There's yeah, the dollhouse. There's a wine cellar. What was the other? The linen room. I love that. When the cupboards were open, they were full of like blankets and towels. Oh, did you have a favorite part of the dollhouse? Uh, not all of it. It was a little just all of it. Yeah, there was so there was, was so, so much, much to look at, and you kind of had to stand far away, like because it's so big. Yeah. And, like, there's the garden. Crown jewels. Oh that, that, and then had like a little barred gate set. Yeah. Like, it was locked. Did you see the um, the train in the nursery? There were like lots of toys in the nursery, and there was a tiny little train. 
Oh my gosh, yeah. The library was probably my favorite part. Although I also, in the kitchen, that was yeah. awesome too. That was beautiful. There were so many good things. So many cool things. I, really, I did really like the wine cellar for some reason. Yeah. Like I don't like it wine in real life. But <laughs> a tiny little wine cellar. I know, and there were so many little details in it. Like the wine bottles and all those things. And then we walked through the state apartments, which were beautiful. Oh, Versailles, like very oh, sumptuous very, oh gosh, and yes, you know, very regal. And the yeah. hall, St. George's Hall, is my part, my favorite part. Also very regal. Someday I would like to go to a banquet there. That would be great. <laughs> Put that on the bucket list. <laughs> Put that on the bucket list. Yes, and now we're strolling out. I totally wish I could go up those steps oh and explore whatever that little grove is there. Oh my gosh, how fun and would that be? It would, must be neat to be a gardener at Windsor Castle. Yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah. Look at how legit Jackie is. <laughs> he has the selfie <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, I just noticed there's a tiny little crown yeah, on top on of that lamppost. Lantern. Are they on top of all the lanterns? That's pretty fantastic. Large castle. It is very large. These Brits, these royals, they live like royals. <laughs> I guess this is what they mean when they use that expression. <laughs> We're gonna check out the Middle Ward shop. I think they have, I kind of want to check out the reproduction of the dolls books that they have. Yeah. There's one about like a little fairy that looks like a very <laughs> strange, arrested. like, yeah, British humor kind of book. Oh my gosh, they have corgis in the window. That's fantastic. How sweet are these tiny little ornaments? This is the book that is obviously a larger production, but this they have this in the library. It's a very peculiar fairy, or a, it's a very peculiar story of this poor little fairy who tries to find his way in England and um, doesn't do very well, it seems. But yeah, I like the illustrations. They're very cute. There's St. George's Chapel again. We had a lovely visit. We just came out of Windsor Castle. We checked over here for some postcards. I have a feeling they'll be cheaper than they were in the gift shop at Windsor Castle. It's a very cheerful red door. Oh, school groups. I think we can enter the Royal Mile down here. I suspect we're gonna have a look. Having a quick look at the long mile. Look at it, it is a long mile. You can see it stretching off and off and off and off into the distance. Be having some event today with all the cars. I think we went into the Shakespeare at Windsor Castle, which is um, ex exhibit, which is on, which I guess is um, uh, lots of Shakespeare books that are in the Royal Family's collection. And they said that there was an oak or a tree in here that is like supposedly mentioned in the Merry Mives of Windsor. So I don't know which one it is though. <laughs> One of these, there are kind of a lot of trees stretching down this avenue. The little house next to the gate, I like the purple flowers. Wow, I wonder if those are plants in their garden. Does that look like a car Bertie Wooster would drive or what? That's awesome. So we're just heading back to our hotel now to pick up our bags. Our hotel is technically in Eaton. Um, although we didn't actually get to walk up all the way to where the college Eaton is, which I think, I'm not sure if P.G. Woodhouse went there, but I know his character, Smith, P. Smith, did go there, so. Um, but yes, it's just a short walk across this bridge here. Unfortunately, there is actually, there are two train stations at Windsor. There's Riverside and Central. Unfortunately, our trains came and went from Central, but um, it's not a bad walk, so. Worcester Shrub Hill and Worcester Gourmet Street. This train has eight coaches. She's talking about our train. She'll be here any minute. We need to change Oxford. It's just not a very long train journey. It's just about less than an hour. I can't tell. 
Did you see all the boats parked on the little canal? I, think? Oh, I saw them on the roof. So I guess. Oh, maybe it was just a boat dock. But I think there are houseboats that go up there. Mm -hmm. Oh, are those the tiny books? Yes, they are. That's so cool. Guys, so in this book on the dollhouse, when you zoom in, it looks like it's just a normal house, doesn't it? <laughs> like in these photos. I'm looking at the Hoover. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. And it had working electric lights yeah, too, right? There are the light switches. Oh my gosh. Hot and cold tap. Are you serious? <laughs> College. This is the hallway. These doors, I think. Anyway, here's our room. Number 2007. I'll give you a quick tour. It's a lot more spacious than I expected. Um, yeah, I mean, these are student accommodations which you're able to stay in as a hotel when the students are out. So this is a pretty nice dorm room. I wonder if this is for two people or just one. Because if it's for one, this is swanky. Look, they used to have fireplaces. It's kind of a pity that they blocked that up because that would be super fun as an actual fireplace. Yes, they have some nice toiletries sitting out for you with your towels. They even have washcloths is what Becky said because a lot of the places we've been staying haven't had washcloths, I guess. Not, it's not really a British thing. Um, they have lots of nice things for your tea over here. Even hot chocolate. Cadbury hot chocolate. Some water. Does this open? Oh, that's locked. I wonder... I remember my brother and I stayed at Cambridge on our last trip to England and there was a locked cabinet that looked like it had a whole bunch of student stuff in it so I wonder if um, students put their stuff in there because I was surprised when um, my brother and I stayed at Cambridge um, I was surprised like because it was just a break so you um, know if a student lived in that room did they have to move everything out of their room during break and I think they did someone commented on the video and said they did so I think you have to put all your worldly possessions up in that little uh, locked box or move them out. Maybe people put them, you know, out somewhere else. Here's a little cupboard area. Oh, this is like a palatial dorm. I know this is a palatial dorm. I was just wondering. I love the, oh here, we didn't look out the window. I like the um, view outside. We're looking out over the street. Keeble College is a Victorian college, so it looks quite different from the others. It's brick on the outside. Um, whereas a lot of the others are, you know, go back way, way, way back to Tudor times and beyond. We have some drawers. Here's the bathroom. We have some shutters on two sides. So you can open these shutters too. Big mirror. Oh, they look, look, they have a towel rack warmer. Yes, so we just checked in. It's about 3 o'clock. So it's nice that you can check in, though some places aren't until 4, um, whereas I think it's 2 here. Yes, so we're going to make some plans and go out and explore Oxford. I love these flowers growing out of the wall. They're so beautiful. We're strolling down to Christchurch College here at Oxford because Elizabeth Googes. Oh my gosh, you're right. It looks like a hobbit door. <laughs> It's probably inspiration for J.R.R. Tolkien. Because this was his town. But yeah, Elizabeth Gooch's um, Towers in the Mist. A lot of that takes place at Christ Church. Here's another one. Oh no, look, that one's slightly taller. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look in there. That looks cool. People are just picnicking out on the lawn. This is Wadham College. Look at those pastel buildings. Down in the distance. Yeah, this is the Radcliffe camera, which tomorrow we'll be going inside as part of our library tour. Wow! Also, Peter Lindsay and Harriet Bain in one of the scenes in Gaudy Night hang out on top of there. I don't know if we'll just get to go on the top of the camera tomorrow or not. That'd be pretty cool if we did. Look how beautiful this is. 
Merton College Chapel. It's so lovely. We've just come out of Magpie Lane. We're heading for Christchurch, but detours are always good. So that gate, the Rose Gate, was fine on one side, but then there was a super long line on the other side, because that gate only lets you one person at a time, and there was a trigger. You're supposed to go two at a time. Two at a time? Oh. Well, anyway, here we are in Christchurch Meadow. Look at how beautiful. This is Christchurch, I believe. Wow, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? How cool is this? I wonder if that's Great Tom. Great Tom is the Christchurch bell. It might be another bell. I can't tell where it's coming from. We're about to take a tour at Christchurch College. Exams are in I think Great Tom is in that bell tower up there. What? The bell is so cool they named it. <laughs> this, which we're about to go into, is the Great Hall, where they filmed part of Harry Potter. Looks like they're having some work done. Wow, look at the ceiling. There's Becky, and that door was in the guide. It said that it was studded to against the Prime Minister Peel um, back, you know, just a couple hundred years ago, and they just left it there. So it's basically graffiti. Here's the Great Hall. I think they're getting set up for dinner. I want to stay for dinner. Someone needs to invite us to hall, and then we'd be able to come to dinner. I saw a picture of one of the college dining rooms out there for a wedding. Can you imagine renting it out for a wedding? Windows. Guys, they have a latte machine on the buffet line. I'm ridiculously jealous. These all must be fellows of the college Gladstone. Henry VIII. He's not a fellow of the college. He just, I think, founded it. Initially, was going to call it Henry VIII's college, but then changed the name to Christ Church. <laughs> Even the shop is beautiful. <laughs> this is the cloister outside Christ Church Cathedral. There's Christ Church Meadow. Right outside the college, apparently, they have some sheep that at certain times of year you can see out there. In fact, I feel like I see some animals off in the distance. Guys, every single part of this scene I want to photograph about a million times from every angle. It's just so beautiful. There's Christ Church. That's actually the Great Hall, not the chapel, believe it or not. There is Great Tom, the bell tower. This is the War Memorial Garden. The purple is just so lovely. I'm kind of in love with Oxford. Flowers and towers. That's Great Tom. He's tolling five o'clock.
look at these window boxes on the town hall. They're so charming. We are now on our way to a stop for Becky, which is Darn It and Stitch. Get the pun. Oh, no. Sweater. It is a knitting shop. So, should be <gasps> That's Carfax Tower right there. That is also mentioned in Towers in the Mist by Elizabeth Cage. <laughs> look at the bell on Carfax Tower. The little knights. We missed him hitting the bell. He hit it with his axe. They've got a sign on their bicycle. Oh, public library. And here's the big bell. So we're walking along on Market Street, eating some delicious MS sandwiches. I got roast beef and horseradish mayo on soft white bread. I think there's some horseradish mayo on my face. What kind did you get? Egg and crust. Egg and crust. Very British. MS has the best food hall ever. Like, I wish I could eat that food all day. Now we're turning up here to find Blackwell's book. So that's Exeter College. It's right across the street from Blackwell's here, which is the famous bookshop. <laughs> he lost a bet. Ooh, where is she going? It would appear some people are celebrating the end of their exams. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? You're telling them what you just said, which made us laugh. I just said we're, we're now passing the Smith. Well, wait, 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 wait. You should give them some background. We, we have trouble with the names of things. The British Oxford. names. Kebble is actually Keeble and all sorts of things like that. So, um, so I was just telling Emma that we're pa we are now passing the Smith Library. Spells Bodleian, but it's pronounced Smith. Because <laughs> we don't know how it's pronounced. The Bodleian, Bodleian. Bodlin? Is it Smith? Bodlin? Bodlin. That's probably what it is. Bodlin, Bodlin Library. Just like Magdalen College. <laughs> Spelled Magdalen. Magdalen. Another college that's completely grand and gorgeous. Aw, oh, look, there's someone who finishes exams. What? Party hats. And Party hats? Oh, he doesn't have whipped cream on. Celebration? No, he doesn't. Well, maybe that's coming. <laughs> He's only a junior. <laughs> This is St. Cross College. And up there is Eagle and Child, which was the pub where Tolkien and C.S. Lewis hung out. So we're gonna go there and hang out. So we were drawn irresistibly to where the Inklings met at the spot. That's what that plaque says. Here's Becky perusing the menu. Just tell anyone to get. Here's the drinks menu with a measure of history. The Nicholson brothers opened their doors in 1873. I was gonna get a gin and tonic, and this is so apparently this is the original gin palace. And so they have your tonics here, premium Indian, premium Indian tonic water, naturally light, lemon tonic, ginger ale, and then they have your gins here, and they have a million kinds. I'm gonna get the Sip Smith London Dry Gin, with, which comes with a lime garnish. Some of them though come with like oranges, or this one comes with a cucumber. And then with it, I think I'm going to get the premium Indian. The ginger ale is made using three fresh gingers. See, we've had a proper Oxford day. You have a Blackwell's bag, a pint now at the Eagle and Child. I have a gin and tonic. I don't know if you guys can see, but they're both okay, it's pretty fantastic. Did you get it? That's perfect. What is it? <gasps> That's ideal. There were like three different books about the that I was 
Well, yeah, this is the perfect place to get a Tolkien book. Well, it's not a Tolkien book. Well, yeah, but a book about it. I feel like I should have looked at something by C.S. Lewis. I, I just bought a Blackwell's bag. It's pretty cute. There's that. I have a bag from Peppers, which is the Cambridge bookstore, so that's kind of fun. I also have a bag from uh, Pontus Figgis, which is the Dublin Trinity College Dublin bookstore. What's it called? Hodges Figgis. Isn't that the best name? And what else did I buy at, at um, I just bought a kind of boring Oxford College's tour book. Although it's not that boring, I feel like I'm going to read it tonight and learn up about different Oxford College's cook trips. Not french fries, chips. <laughs> and cheesy garlic fries. It smells greasy and delicious. <laughs> so Becky can't finish her, her beer. Who can blame her? Beer is good. I'm sorry, I said it. I know. Not everyone agrees with me, but beer doesn't taste good. Are you going to do it? <laughs> I feel like I should go pour this on Tolkien's grave or something so I can sink all your weeks. I'm joking over spinner. How much of that did you drink again? <laughs> like pouring libations or something. Yeah, I guess so. Libations to the gut. Of the eagle and child. <laughs> so this is the Inklings corner. Where we were sitting. I was writing a bit. Eagle and Child. I like these front rooms too. They're pretty great. Yeah, look at these worn stairs. Although this is not even one of the oldest Oxford colleges. Keeble College is Victorian and brick. A lot of them are white and I actually don't know what, what kind of stone. Even stroll before all the light plays. To explore our college, Keeble College, our college for the night, for the day. Wow, look at that. That must be the chapel up there. I think, and that building, I'm pretty sure, is the library. And the dining hall is just beyond it, and that is where we are going to have breakfast. Look, you can see in the library. And that window back there, sort of ringed in, in those white vines, white flowers and vines. This is obviously a more modern bit of campus. <laughs> and this is the other bit. Like this person has their thoughts and their covered in their notes. I wonder if they've been busy studying. I know they have exams this week. I hope they did well. <laughs> Entry for trucks? No, you've got to be kidding me. I would totally, I was totally gonna drive a truck up this tiny pathway. Becky pointed out that it actually means hand trolleys, so she ruined my joke. Were you taking an artsy shot? Ooh, look at how super artsy. Guys, this is how legit we are. We're a Keeble College gang. You come and sit on these steps, and then you know, just hang and have deep existential discussions. That's what I would do if I actually came here. If you actually go to Keeble College, like, don't be offended or anything. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to Too be at your college. It's, <laughs> it's a great place. It's beautiful. Don't be offended. Okay. I'm already offended. <laughs> you don't even go to Keeble College. I'm offended for Keeble College. <laughs> I'm telling Keeble College how much I like it. I'm, I'm, I'm admiring it. Oh, I think that was just lightning. It's a poppy. A poppy? Oh, I see. I don't know exactly what kind of poppy. It's lovely. The gardeners here are obviously on point. Oh, that's a peony. I know that. I don't remember that. Okay, we are back from our evening stroll. A little bit rainy. But it's cool to stay here when there's so many students staying here. Because, like, everyone else around is just a normal student. They're taking their exams. Although it must be, maybe it's end of term? How Because usually during term itself, they don't right. welcome visitors. It's cool, like you feel like you're part of the college. We walked by, I'm guessing it was a drama troupe yes. meeting down there in the basement. We also passed the JCR, Junior College Room. 
um, yeah, I'm a fan of Keeble College. We're at Keeble College this morning and we're heading up to Hall for some breakfast. having a morning stroll around the around the quad I was reading in the guidebook I bought that William Butterfield is the name of the guy who designed these buildings and it's known as the holy zebra style of <laughs> bricks and I guess Butterfield liked to use different colors of bricks which he does to great effect We're going to take a look in the Catholic Church. Most of the churches here are the Church of England. This is a Catholic church, though, and we think Dare Tolkien would have come here. Although his grave is outside of Oxford, is that right? Yeah. It's in a different church about three miles away. So this is the Sheldonian Theater. We're cutting through the courtyard here get over to Cat Street, or Kate Street, who knows how you get up, for our tour of the Bodleian Library. would meet. This is a money box owned by Sir Thomas Bodley. It has a very intricate lock. Oh, and appropriately, you can donate. I like the chair over there, too. Apparently, they would have their exams here, and a professor would stand there, and the student would stand there, and the judge would be at the edge, or at the end, and they would have to dispute in Latin and argue with each other until the judge um, decided that the student was, you know, on the level of a fellow and worthy of his degree. Also, apparently, Harry Potter, part of Harry Potter was filmed here. This was, I think, the infirmary. It's so beautiful. I think she said there were 455 bosses. There are so many. And up there, they have the Virgin Mary and baby Jesus, and Mary is reading a book. Those finials are so beautiful. I think we saw them at St. George's Chapel, too. But yeah, gosh, this space is amazing. So I've got some pictures of the Harry Potter scenes filmed around Oxford. Humphrey's library was so cool. So this is the Tower of the Five Orders because it has five types of columns. Doric, Ionic, Corinthian, uh, 
Wait, maybe that's Doric and that one is... It, no, I can't remember. There are a lot of tours in this area. In case you haven't noticed, this guy over here is William Herbert, who is a buddy of Shakespeare, and apparently thought to be one of the handsomest men of his age. Up there is Duke Humphrey's library, which we were just in. Very cool. That's the Sheldonian, where they have commencement and lots of different ceremonies. The Divinity School is the ground floor there. I like how um, when Sir Christopher Wren designed and built the Sheldonian, he added that door to the Divinity School, which is older and has been around a long time. Um, and he put his initials over it, <laughs> which is kind of cool. Yeah, we've seen lots of Sir Christopher Wren, St. Paul's Cathedral, here at Oxford. Bridge of Sighs, there's Becky. There's the camera. We did not get to go up top. In fact, I don't think anybody goes up top anymore. But the library itself was full of students studying. Apparently those um, gates used to actually open into the space. They used to be open to the air. So that's kind of cool. The first floor was always like the sort of meeting area, common space. And then the second floor was where they kept the books because they wanted to protect them from like flood and theft and everything. And that's the cathedral. So this is the university church. I'm just going to peek inside Hartford College. This is Brazenose, I believe. No, wait a minute. This is All Souls. I think those... Nicholas Hawksmore designed these two twin towers of All Souls and Sir Christopher Wren's sundial. It's somewhere. Do you see it? Oh, there's the chapel. Yeah. It might be on the other side. It might be on the other side. Oh, it's beautiful though. Oh, look at all the... People stood in their robes. Apparently, All Souls was originally founded for people to, um, for the fellows to pray for the souls who died in the French wars of the time, in the 15th century or so. This is Brazenose College. Wouldn't it be fun to have one of those rooms up there? This look awesome. There's so many shields everywhere of all the important and rich patrons. There's Queen's College. I read about these two coffee shops oh. online. The Queensland Coffee House and the Grand Cafe across the street. The first coffee house in England. This is the examination school where all the kids have to go to take their big exams. Here's Maudlin College in the tower. I love the trees. These are such cheerful fronts. Yellow and blue and green and brown. Wow, that's so funny. They're like perfectly laid out. So is this more of a town part of Oxford rather than a gown? There were town and gown arguments and uh, battles even when um, Back in medieval times, a lot of them apparently. You, could, you haven't read Towers in the West, have you? You need to read But there's some of that in there about how the townspeople and the scholars didn't see eye to eye and kind of fought a lot. The Alternative Tuck Shop. That's a pretty fantastic name mm -hmm. for a get your lunch here place. So here's the actual tuck shop at the other end of Hollywell Street. That's so funny. That's Balliol College, which is Peter Whimsey's alma mater. It looks beautiful. Apparently it's closed to the public, although on their website they said they were open right now, so I'm a little bit bummed. And there's the Bodleian again. We're just strolling back to Peter College to get our bags. Although we got some new bags from Debenhams, which are adorable. Mm -hmm. Just enjoying Oxford. Here's Keeble. From the outside, it's right across from the museum. 